Um, let me go back to your book, and mm-hmm. um, you've told me a lot about about the approach to the book, and, and um, tell me a little bit more about how you're focusing on different kinds of technologies and what kind of resources you're providing for teachers to, mm-hmm. to kind of see how it's being used and yeah. understand how it could be used. Sure. You know, the first chapter of the book kind of just describes the, the, you know, this idea of technology coming into the classrooms and how it's, how it's uncomfortable for some teachers and how it's exciting for others mm-hmm. and how we, ca- how we can all um, together look at what our own skills are to move forward in our own way. And the chapters two through eight, each of them look at a different technology, whether it's you know digital rec- or um, audio recording devices, or if it's a multi-touch mobile device such as you know an iPad or an iPod Touch or something like that. There's you know document cameras and projectors. Each one is is, is somewhat um, compartmentalized, mm-hmm. but it's done in a it's it's done that I did that intentionally so that um, when a teacher or a program looks at what. Um, resources are already available. If they only have one of those, they have a chapter to go to. Mm-hmm. And then they have the first chapter to go to to understand, you know, what this idea of technology in the classroom looks like. And then the last chapter looks at, you know, mapping your curriculum and mapping the technology skills out so that children are acquiring these uh, skills. Mm-hmm. Um, but then also woven within the chapters is discussions about how these different technologies can work together <clears throat> to offer certain experiences. No one technology is going to be able to provide all the experiences. Sure. Multiple technologies work together. You can have an iPad hooked up to a uh, projector to show an application to a, to a large group or, or a small group. Sure. It's, it just it provides a different experience. Yep. 